In this video, I will show you how to make a paracord. Today, we're going to be using our Jersey Be Good yarn in the bubblegum pink colourway. Let's get started. To demonstrate this technique, I've cut a single length of yarn, which is about 2.5 metres long, but you should refer to your pattern to see how long you need to cut yours. I've folded my length of yarn in half once, so that I've got two cut ends and then a looped end. And to demonstrate this paracord technique, I'm going to loop my yarn over a knitting needle, but you might want to use it loop through a trigger ring or attach something else. You can also tape it down, whatever way is easiest for you. So I'm going to take my knitting needle and I'm going to thread my cut ends over the top and even out my strands so that the two cut ends are equal. So I'm going to position my strands so that I've got my two strands in the center and then a strand each either side. So you're going to be knotting over the top of these central strands and these will form the center of your paracord braid. So think of your strands as A, B and C. So begin by taking A and passing it over the top of C and underneath B, like so. Now take B and take it underneath C and then up through this loop formed by A. So they're crossed over like so. And you're going to gently pull on those strands to tighten them up so they sit underneath your needle. Now A is now located on this side, so A is now on the right and B is on the left. So you're going to take A and cross it over your central two strands, which is C, and then underneath B. Then you're going to take B and pass it underneath C and up through this loop created by A. And you're going to pull them, pull them tight. like so. So now A is back on this side, B is on this side once more. Take A and pass it over C and under B. Take B and pass it under C and up through this loop made by A. Pull your strands tight. So you can see that your paracord is beginning to emerge. And make sure that when you're pulling your strands, don't pull them too tightly. You're going to want it to stay a regular width right down the braid. So let's see that a few more times so you get the idea. So simply keep repeating those steps to make a paracord braid.